in the depths of the Python built-in functions lies a very special function that returns an object that does something pretty unique. Its name is range, and it must be respected. Range with inputs 0, 10 will give us 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Note that it doesn't give us 10 because the upper limit given as the input is exclusive, meaning it's not included, but the lower limit is. You can write print range and then an input 0, 10, but it won't print anything useful. Its real power comes if we put it in a for loop. We can write for i in range 0, 10 colon, and on the next line we can say print hello comma i. And on the first round i is 0, the second round i is 1, third round i is 2, etc. And as you can see, you don't even need a list to make a for loop. Pretty cool. Range can actually take as few as one input, the upper exclusive limit, meaning that the lower one is defaulted to zero. It can actually also take three inputs, where the third input is the step, or how much we increase from item to item. So by default, that's one. We go from zero to one, one to two, etc. But maybe we want to go up by 0 0.5, or we want to go down by minus one. You can set all of that up using the step. A fun fact about range, if you want to have a list of the numbers 1 to 100,000, you can write nums equals list and then parentheses range and then parentheses 1 comma 100,001. And then you can send that list to a text-to-speech translator, upload it to YouTube, and zip-zap your Mr. Beast.